Hello, welcome back to Delicious Nook. Today, I will be making a very popular Vietnamese spicy beef noodle soup, also known as Bum Bo Way. This is a very popular noodle dish from the central part of Vietnam. It's also very delicious and complex. So if you're interested in learning how to make it, please stay tuned and let's get started. These are the ingredients you will need for the soup broth. These are the ingredients you will need for the satay. These are some vegetables and herbs you can use to garnish your soup. Soak the noodles in warm water. This is the brand I'm using. Make sure the package says Bun Bo Wei Rice Vermicelli Noodles. Fill a large pot with water and place it on the stove top. Turn the heat onto high. Place all the bones, pork hock, and the beef shank into the pot of water. You will want to blanch the bones and meat to remove all the impurities from the bones and meat. Allow the pot to come to a boil for about 10 minutes, then remove the pot to the sink and rinse the meat and the bones with cold water. Cut the ends off the lemongrass and wash the lemongrass thoroughly. Once the lemongrass are washed, pound the ends of the lemongrass to release the aroma. Pour in 5.5 quarts of water into a clean pot and place it back onto the stove top on high heat. Place the clean bones, beef shank, and pork hock back into the water. Add in the smashed lemongrass into the broth. Add a whole onion into the broth as well. Place the pineapple into the broth. Add the two spice cube into the broth. Add in the salt and rock sugar into the broth. Add the chicken bouillon powder. And add in the fish sauce and give it a stir. Allow the broth to come to a boil and skim off any excess oil or foam on top of the broth. Turn the heat to medium low and allow it to simmer. Fill another large pot of water and place it on the stove top. Turn the heat to high and allow it to come to a boil. Once the water comes to a boil, Add the soaked noodles and cook the noodles according to the package for about 20 to 25 minutes. Stir occasionally to avoid the noodles from sticking onto the bottom of the pot. The noodles are cooked through when you bite into a strand of noodles and there is no hard bite to the noodles. The noodles should also be soft all the way through. Drain and soak the noodles with cold water. Allow the noodles to sit and soak in cold water for about 5 to 10 minutes. Remove the noodles once cooled and drain the noodles into a colander. This will help you manage to serve the noodles later once the noodle has time to drain. Cover the noodles and set it to the side for now. While the broth is cooking, in a small saucepan, add about 2 cups of water and add in the shrimp sauce. Stir to mix through. Heat on high and allow it to come to a boil for about 1-2 to two minutes. Once the sauce has come to a boil, skim off any excess foam that has risen to the top. 
Turn the heat off and set the pan to the side for now. To make the saute, finely chop and mince the root of the lemongrass. Once you get closer to the middle of the lemongrass, it becomes very fibrous. Throw that piece into the broth. Continue to chop the lemongrass until it's very fine. Place the finely minced lemongrass into a small plate and set it to the side. In a frying pan, heat about 3 tablespoons of oil on medium-low and allow the oil to heat through. Add in the chopped shallots. Add in the minced garlic. And add in the lemongrass. Stir the ingredients together. Continue to stir the aromatics until it starts to turn golden brown. Add in the Bun Bo Hui chili powder and then add in the soup base. Stir to mix all the ingredients thoroughly. Continue to stir the mix until all the ingredients are well combined. Turn the heat off and set it to the side to cool. Cut the pork meatballs into half, then place it back into the bowl and set it to the side. While the broth is simmering, prep and wash all the herbs. Cut the green onions into small pieces. Place the green onions onto a plate or platter. Cut and remove the outer layer of an onion and slice the onion thinly. And place the sliced onion into the same platter. Give the cilantro a rough chop and then place it into the same platter. Slice the limes into wedges and place it into the same platter as well. To prep the banana blossom, cut a lime or two, squeeze the juice into a bowl of cold water. To prepare the banana blossom, remove the outer petals and the banana florets until you get closer to the heart of the blossom. Cut the tip off. Using a shredder or a mandolin, start slicing the banana blossom into the bowl of water. It'll be a lot easier using a mandolin slicer to create thin slices of banana blossom. Continue slicing until you have about two cups of banana blossom. Keep the banana blossom in the water until you're ready to serve. This will eliminate the banana blossom from turning brown. Once the soup broth has been simmering for an hour, remove the pork hock into a small bowl and set it to the side. At this point, you want to skim out any excess oil or any impurities that has risen to the top. Cover the pork hock with some saran wrap to avoid it from turning brown and set it to the side or refrigerate it for now. At the hour and a half mark of cooking time, remove the beef shank and submerge it in cold water and set it to the side. At this point, remove the pineapple, the whole onion, and the stalks of lemongrass and discard. By this time, the shrimp sauce has had time to cool and the fine bits have settled to the bottom of the pan. Pour only the clear top of the sauce into the soup broth. Discard the bits on the bottom of the pan. Add in the saute that you have fried earlier into the soup broth. This will add flavor and coloring to the soup broth. 
Once you added the saute to the soup broth, stir to mix all the ingredients well. Now add in the sliced meatballs and allow the soup broth to boil for another 15 to 20 minutes. Once the beef shank has had time to cool, slice the beef shank into thin slices. Continue to slice both pieces of beef shank into thin slices and place it in a bowl for now. To assemble, grab about two bundles of noodles and place it into a large bowl. Add some green onions, then place about three to four slices of beef shank onto the side. Place some sliced onion on top of the noodles. If you like non on bones, you can scoop up some oxtail or whatever beef bones you have in the broth into your bowl of noodles. Then ladle some soup broth into the bowl. Depending on your preference of how soupy you would like your soup to be, scoop in enough broth to fill your bowl of noodles. Squeeze in a wedge of lime juice. Throw in some more green onions and cilantro. Place the sliced banana blossom onto the side of your bowl. Break off and place some of the mint leaves into your bowl of noodles. And break off some Vietnamese coriander leaves and place it into the bowl as well. Add one or two pieces of pork hock into your bowl as well, depending on your preference. And that is it. All you have to do now is just stir it up and enjoy. I hope you give this recipe a try, and if you do, please comment below. I will include the written recipe and directions down in the description box below. Please like, share and subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.